Ladies and gentlemen, do I need that? <laughs> I will talk about scientific approach to problems in our society. Everyone from knows the fact two and two is four. Why you do know it? How many, I will say countless times, when you are when you are a child, you try one, two, three, four. How many times? For you that's a fact. Today I said there are many things which are not facts. And we use that in science. We still believe. I will say why. I studied Einstein for many years. In which way? Studied his formula, studied his way of working, way of living even. What I found out, he's right. What is that what he is based on? I'll go back. Two and two are really four. So he also used many things for he thought it is fact. I'm doing this, the same, I will say stupid mistake. I listened many books. When I said listen, I use my phones many times. What can I see? What can I hear? What can I listen? Fact, what is somebody, uh, someone's experience, but not mine. So what I'm doing now, I have to have, go to fr from the beginning. I have to start from the beginning to, to find out, is there any error? Is there any mistakes? Because I, it's not my experience. Two and two is four, that's my experience. We are doing here an experiment which is based on my experience. So for me, that's fact. Many people told me, many friends, colleagues also, what you are doing? What kind of pyramid research? There are pyramids. It's only one, it's in the edge, not here. Come on, what are you doing? <coughs> they never been here. They've never been in Lisoko, they've never been in, in any other places. And even they're not in Egypt that they saw pictures. But they know from the books that's the only one pyramid, pyramid in the world. <coughs> I have another experience. <coughs> for me, that is a fact. As for you, that two and two is four. For me, that's fact. Not because of building. I don't know nothing about buildings. I did not build it. I'm not a geologist, I'm not archaeologist. I don't know who built it and why. What I can say, I have measurements from electromagnetic field, which is the same for Visoko, the smallest one, pyramid in Bosnia, the same in Sudan, same in Egypt, same in Iran. I was there measuring with my own money and I found a similarity. So please don't ask me why you are doing that. I <laughs> want just to find out what is happening here. I don't know. I really don't know. I wanted to see what is happening here. That's the reason for scientific approach. Not, you know what scientists do, do today? They have labs. Never come out of that bloody labs. Working on small light bulbs, watching on something, measuring in only mathematics way. But no one is going outside on the field. So come on, do something, 
really good. Go out, mix two things, theory and practice. Then you will find a truth. Whatever you else, even only practice, is not enough. You must have enough knowledge. So just combine that two forces, knowledge and experiment. In the field, not in the paper, not in the computer. Please not go on the field. Do it on the right place. Then you can find many other things. What I found, that's 28 kilohertz. For now it's from 21 to, let's say, 25 altogether. In electromagnetic field, human beings does not use that frequency. It's useless. Okay, in sonar, maybe. There are few, but really few things human beings use that frequency for nothing else. We cannot carry signal for voice, so it's useful for us, for picture, for anything, for energy. Please, we will not talk about energy. For now, we will talk only about signals. Too many similarities. For me, it's not similarities. For me, that's a fact. Something, somewhere, produce that electromagnetic field in the range of frequency we don't use. So please, don't ask me. Is it natural? UFO? Whatever. I don't know. I know just one fact. It exists. What we will do here? We will try to compare those signals with other signals in specific specific way. So we will irradiate a lot of energy to the hill, electromagnetic magnetic energy. We have antennas, you will see everything. We will measure what is happening like echo from that hill, from that pyramid. But then, in the same time, we have three more receivers. One is in Bosnia, one is in Zagreb, and one is, is not in Novi Sad. That receivers will give us answer. Is there any response from anything else, from normal hills or from pyramids? So whatever we done here, there is possibility. I will, I will not say yes or no. There is a possibility that pyramids are somehow connected. For now, the fact is all pyramids irradiate that energy. I will call it again a signal. <coughs> if there is any connection, we will see. I will not go to technical details. I will be then really boring. I can do it. But whoever wish to ask me can approach to me and ask me. That's it. In the meantime, our my colleagues, they will use ultrasound detectors to see what is happening in their field. But they will tell, tell you that I don't know tomorrow or when. Also, a lot, lot, lot of strange things. You know, when you are a scientist, your mind is a little bit different. Well, maybe a little bit crazy, but not stupid. So please, give us just a small possibility to do it with the help of you. All other information you will have later. That's only the beginning. Thank you for listening.